Welcome to the video lecture series of electronic devices. This is lecture number 6. Today's topic is excitation and ionization of atoms and collision of photons with atoms. So let me just remind you that in previous 5 lectures you have studied about the types of semiconductors, crystal lattices, its types, atomic structure and Bohr's theory. Let us begin today's lecture with the first topic which is excitation and ionization of atoms. Here you can see there are two terms excitation and ionization. So first let us understand excitation then I will explain you about the ionization of atoms. Consider the case of simplest atom that is hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom has one electron in the innermost orbit that is n is equal to 1 and it is said to be in unexcited or normal state. If we provide some additional energy to the electron then it moves to the higher state and when the atom is in the state of higher energy it is said to be excited. So excitation is what? It is the process of transferring an electron from lower to higher energy state. You can see in this particular diagram, electron is available over here and now it has been transferred to the higher energy state by providing additional energy. So you can say that the process can be explained by providing the additional energy and electron remains in excited state only for about 10 raised to the power minus 8 second. After this particular duration, it will again come into its actual orbit, original orbit. When electron return back to the ground state, the energy difference is given out in the form of radiation. Let me explain you with the help of this particular diagram. Here you can see that n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 up to infinity. Various energy levels have been shown. Here you can see when an electron of hydrogen atom absorbs 10.2 electron volt of energy, then electron is excited from the level 1 means n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 2. So this much of energy which is 10.2 electron volt it is known as the excitation energy. Similarly here you can see that 12.1 electron volt energy is required to excite the electron from n is equal to 1 to 3. So this 12.1 electron volt is known as the excitation energy. Now let me explain you the process of ionization. When the process of excitation is over, an electron is completely removed from the nucleus. The atom is said to be ionized. Now the atom has left with a positive charge. Therefore, the process of raising the atom from the normal state to the ionized state is known as ionization. Or you can say that ionization is a process when electron is completely removed from the nucleus. You can see in this particular diagram electron is available over here and after providing the sufficient energy which is the ionization energy over here now it has been detached from the nucleus means now it is completely removed from the nucleus and it is available as a free electron. Ionization energy is defined as the minimum energy that an electron has to absorb to come out of the influence of the nucleus. Ionization energy is also known as ionization potential and it is usually a endothermic process. Both excitation and ionization are absorption phenomena. So if 
the question is going to be asked in, in your examination explain the absorption phenomena then you have to explain both the excitation and ionization process of the atoms now let me explain the pro ionization process with the help of an example here you can see our energy level diagram again for n is equal to 1 to infinity all the levels have been mentioned energy required for level 1 is minus 13.6 for n is equal to 2 it is minus 3.4 and so on so when electron absorbs 13.6 electron volt energy 13.6 then electron is raised to a level n is equal to infinity that is now electron is free from the nucleus and it has only thermal kinetic energy here 13.6 electron volt is known as ionization energy of the hydrogen atom let us take one more example if we say that electron absorbs an energy of 25 electron volt this energy is not only sufficient to remove the electron from the atom because for that 13.6 electron volt is sufficient therefore this additional energy which is the 25 minus 13 point 6 this is what 11 point 4 electron volt is the energy additional which is electron is having in this particular case so this is all about the excitation and ionization of atoms next topic is collision of photons with atoms so to understand the fundamental or the concept of collision of photons with the atoms first let me tell you what is photon what do you understand by photon photon is an elementary particle which has a zero rest mass its mass is zero and it moves with the speed of light in vacuum Photon is the smallest and the fundamental particle of electromagnetic radiation you have studied in physics. A photon has no mass, no electric charge and it is a stable particle. This is the characteristics of a photon. Photon's energy and momentum depends on its frequency and wavelength. Mathematically, it is represented by this formula Hc upon lambda. C is the velocity of light and lambda is the wavelength. Let us take an example. Light is an electromagnetic radiation. So, photon can be said to be the fundamental particles of light. And it is only and only because light is carried over space by photons. So I hope now you must be able to recall the all the uh, like parameters and fundamentals related to the photons. Based on these uh, basic points, you will be able to understand the topic collision of photons with atoms. What is the concept? See, when photon collides with an electron, then electron absorbs the photon and it moves to the excited state mathematically it is being written as e2 minus e1 means this much of the energy is required so when electron returns to the ground state from the excited state there are two possibilities it may be either returned directly by emitting photons means it will return in a single step other step is it will return after falling into one or more excitation levels in between thereby emitting several photons so what is the second step electron returns to the ground state after falling onto various intermediate levels and 
in that particular process it emits several photons so these are the two ways via which electrons can return to its original state here you can see in this particular diagram the atom emits several photons corresponding to the energy difference between the successive excited levels into which the atom falls the newly admitted photons have less energy than the energy of impinging photons this is the important term here you can see this is the photon being like imparted on the this particular electron and these are newly admitted photons here you can see that the energy of newly admitted photons is different from the energy of the impinging photons two conditions exist between photon energy and ionization energy the two conditions depends whether both of these energy terms are equal or there is any difference the first case when the impinging photon energy is equal to the ionization energy then photon vanishes with the appearance of an electron and positive ion means when these two energy levels are same then photons vanishes means it will disappear and what you are going to observe what you are going to get an electron and a positive ion another case when photon energy is greater than the ionization energy in this case means there is a excess energy photon energy is higher than the ionization energy then this excess energy appears as kinetic energy of emitted electrons and positive ion so this is how these two conditions exist between the photon energy and ionization energy and because of this the collision of photon with atoms and the whole concept can be understand very well so in today's lecture you have studied about the excitation energy you have studied about quantization energy ionization energy you know that photon energy and momentum depends on its frequency and wavelength if the impinging photon has energy to the ionization energy photon vanishes with the appearance of an electron and the positive ion this is a case when the both the energies are equal and when photon has energy greater than the ionization energy then excess energy will appear as kinetic energy of emitted electron and positive ion so this is all about the today's lecture whatever you have studied whatever i have explained you topics for the next classes quantum mechanics concept and bonding forces thank you so much